Hi, my name is Louisa and I'm a harm reduction health educator at Maine General. This video series covers injection techniques and today I'll be talking about hygiene. When injections aren't kept hygienic or clean, germs can more easily enter the body and cause infections or injuries like track marks, abscesses, emboli, and vein collapse. That's why it's so important to maintain proper hygiene when using needles. You can help keep an injection clean by following a few steps. Washing your hands, cleaning the injection site with an alcohol prep pad before injecting, using new needles that works for each injection, cleaning the injection site with a BZK pad after injecting, and putting triple antibiotic ointment on your wounds if needed. We offer alcohol prep pads, new needles, BZK pads, and triple antibiotic ointment at Next Step Needle Exchange. It's really important to wash your hands before you get ready to find your injection site. Warm water and soap or hand sanitizer are ideal. If you don't have access to these, make sure to rinse your hands with clean water. Once you've decided where your injection site is gonna be and have tied off if you're using a tourniquet, for now we're going to be injecting into the inside of the elbow, you're gonna to wanna to wipe off the area with an alcohol prep pad, which come in little containers like this. Alcohol prep pads are a little thinner than BZK pads, which we'll be talking about in just a moment. So after you've tied off and you know where your injection site is, you'll wipe this alcohol prep pad in a single direction over the site, not in a circle. This helps reduce the risk of introducing new germs into your bloodstream when you inject. So you should always try to use new needles and works, which includes cottons, tins, and waters every time you inject. But if this absolutely is not possible, you can clean out a used needle by rinsing it a few times with clean, cold water. And then finding some household bleach and filling it up, letting the bleach sit in the syringe for about two full minutes. After you've counted down two minutes, you can eject the bleach and rinse the syringe once again with fresh cold water. Okay, so let's say you've already injected. Once you've taken out the needle, you should wipe over the injection site with a BZK pad, which comes in a package like this. Sometimes the packages look a little bit similar to alcohol prep pads, but you can tell that they're BZK pads because they'll be a lot thicker and a little yellowy. They'll also be a little bit bigger. So you'll take the BZK pad and you'll wipe it again just in one direction over the injection site. A few hours after you inject, once your wounds have closed up, it might be wise to put some triple antibiotic ointment, which comes on in a package like this, on your wounds, which you can just spread over and rub in. At Next Step Needle Exchange, we offer many supplies like cottons, needles, sterile waters, tourniquets, alcohol prep pads, BZK pads, and triple antibiotic ointment. These supplies help create a safer, cleaner environment for drug use, reducing the risk of infections and other problems. Thanks for joining me today, and I invite you to check out more of our videos located in Maine General's Harm Reduction YouTube playlist.